I'm Joe. And I'm Sophia. We're both interaction designers working on Wear OS. We're excited to share with you our insights on how best to design for the smartwatch. Smartwatches are one of many devices in people's lives. When designing for the smartwatch, it's crucial to consider the role that it plays, the value it brings, and how it enhances the overall experience with your product or brand. Smartwatches are ubiquitous and extremely powerful. People are increasingly adding new devices to their ecosystem, and in many cases, these devices are better equipped to perform specific tasks. This means devices must work well together. Consider which device is best suited for a task and how they can complement each other. Our mission is to help people live more present, healthy and productive lives. Users interact differently with their smartwatch compared to other devices. To illustrate this, we will use an Agenda app as an example. Agenda apps on large screens are designed for longer interactions, where users might need more detail and control. We see that users have fewer but longer sessions throughout the day. Then the phone introduced more regular but shorter sessions. Agenda apps on mobile focus on the days ahead. We know from research that the average interaction time for smartwatches is five seconds long. However, there are a lot more smartwatch sessions throughout the day, more than 150 in fact. So, on the watch, the Agenda app should focus on quick and frequent user needs throughout the day, such as showing the user their next upcoming event. As you can see, each device focuses on slightly different tasks, however they complement each other really well. Let me pass over to Sophia to share how we are thinking about designing for the smartwatch. Thanks, Joe. I'd like to introduce our UX framework. It's broken down into three layers, wear, glance, and interact. Let's dive into each one. At the bottom of the pyramid is the wear layer. Users spend most of their time just wearing their smartwatch. It's important to think about how features that involve no user interaction can provide value, like continuous heart rate tracking, full detection, or location sharing. The next layer in the pyramid is called glance. This is where you have the biggest opportunity to be the most helpful to users. Many users glance at their watch without interacting with it. For example, when checking their fitness progress or viewing incoming notifications. We should bring as much value to the glance layer as possible by surfacing the most relevant and important information at the right time. This lets users decide if they need to take action now or if they can wait until later, minimizing distractions. At the top of the pyramid is a third layer called Interact. This is where users spend the least time. However, when they do, it's for meaningful interactions. They should be very confident that they can get done what they need with as few taps, swipes and button presses as possible. So how do we empower apps to meet their user needs? On Wear, we have developed a number of surfaces. Let's dig into them in more detail. Starting with the watch face, the primary screen for users. This is customizable to express the user's style, like matching the colors to their watch bands. Watch faces can display complications. These contain highly glanceable information that users want to see often throughout the day. For example, current weather in your location or current heart rate. Complications can be displayed in different formats to accommodate various watch face designs and enable users to decide how much information they want to see. Next, we have tiles. This is a highly engaged surface that is accessible by swiping horizontally from your watch face. Tiles provide quick and predictable access to information and actions to solve user needs. Users can select the order of their tiles and choose which tiles appear in their carousel. Notifications are highly glanceable alerts and are sent directly to users. They contain time-sensitive information and actions that help users get things done. These should be short and have a clear hierarchy to enable users to rapidly scan and digest them. Apps can help users solve more complex needs. Users spend longer session in apps and perform more actions like tapping and scrolling. You can get to apps from complications, tiles or the app launcher. Apps can also launch themselves if they have the right signal or context. Some apps may need to run continuously, even when they're in the background, like tracking a workout or turn-by-turn -turn directions. These are called ongoing activities. To allow users to easily return to their ongoing activities, we provide entry points across key surfaces, including on the watch face, tiles, and the launcher. Content can scale across our numerous Wear OS surfaces. And that's why it's important to consider the strengths of each surface when designing a Wear OS app. Having a clear content strategy across surfaces is key. Before we wrap up, let's hand over to Joe to recap on our core design principles for Wear OS. 
Our first principle is designed for critical tasks. Focus on one or two critical user needs rather than a full phone app experience. Next, optimize for the wrist. We want to help people complete tasks on the watch within seconds to avoid ergonomic discomfort or arm fatigue. These quick and frequent interactions help users get back to being present in their daily lives. Glanceable interfaces. Really lean into glanceability and consider how your content scales across our different surfaces like tiles and complications. Devices that work better together. People increasingly own multiple devices. Consider which tasks are best for the smartwatch and which tasks are best served on other devices. Users increasingly expect their devices to work well with each other. Ensure it works offline. Designed for spotty connections and offline use cases such as exercising and commuting. We want to empower users to rely less on their phone, yet still feel connected. Thanks for listening. More design resources are available on the Android Developer website. Also, check out the other videos in our series to learn how to design a great smartwatch app that works for all. Mm -hmm.